Greetings, greetings in Christ to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Tuesday of the 33rd week in Ordinary Time. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Ronald Ray S. Martinez, SBD. We now, uh, our celebration, our Eucharist, Eucharistic celebration and devotion to St. Pio will now begin. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Friends, I am wearing a white stole because today in this Mass we honor the feast of St. Albert the Great. He is a doctor and bishop of the church. What is his major contribution in the church? He is the one who promoted to use philosophy in in the ways of the church why philosophy teaches us to be organized to be systematic to have an order of thinking and you know if you want to accomplish accomplish more if you want to sustain development in your family in your life we need order but in this holy mass we ask the lord the his transform his transforming grace because his presence will be the one to give order to our thoughts order to our lives, order to our desires, order to our behavior and character that will lead us not only to salvation, but in development of our day-to-day -day life, that we may be able to tap our potentials and become the best version of ourselves and be able to become more productive, contributing citizen and member of the church. And for us to worthily offer ourselves in this holy celebration, let us first recall our sins and ask God for His pardon and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us the everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who made the Bishop St. Albert the Great, by his joining of human wisdom to divine faith. Grant, we pray, that we may so adhere to the truths he thought, that through progress in learning, we may come to a deeper knowledge and love of you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. 
I, John, heard the Lord saying to me, to the angel of the church in Sardis, write this, the one who has the seven spirits of God and the seven stars says this, I know your works, that you have the reputation of being alive, but you are dead. Be watchful and strengthen what is left, which is going to die. For I have not found your works complete in the sight of my God. Remember then how you accepted and heard. Keep it and repent. If you are not watchful, I will come like a thief, and you will never know at what hour I will come upon you. However, you have a few people in Sardis who have not soiled their garments. They will walk with me dressed in white because they are worthy. The victor will thus be dressed in white, and I will never erase his name from the book of life, but will acknowledge his name in the presence of my Father and of his angels. Whoever has ears ought to hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To the angel of the church in Laodicea, write this, the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the source of God's creation, says this, I know your works. I know that you are neither cold nor hot. I wish you were either cold or hot. So because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I will spit you out of my mouth. For you say, I am rich and affluent and have no need of anything, and yet do not realize that you are wretched, pitiable, poor, blind, and naked. I advise you to buy from me gold refined by fire so that you may be rich and white garments to put on so that your shameful nakedness may not be exposed and buy ointment to smear on your eyes so that you may see. Those whom I love, I reprove and chastise. Be earnest, therefore, and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, then I will enter his house and dine with him, and he with me. I will give the victor the right to sit with me on my throne, as I myself first won the victory and sit with my father on his throne. Whoever has ears ought to hear what the Spirit says to the churches. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will seat the victor beside, beside me on my throne. I will seat the victor beside me on my throne. He who walks blamelessly and does justice, who thinks the truth in his heart and slanders not with his tongue. I will seat the victor be beside me on my throne. Who harms not his fellow man, nor takes up a reproach against his neighbor by whom the reprobate is despised, while he honors those who fear the Lord. I will seat the victor beside me on my throne. Who lends not his money at usury and accepts no bribe against the innocent. He who does these things shall never be disturbed. I will seat the victor beside me on my throne. Please rise to honor the gospel.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus came to Jericho and intended to pass through the town. Now a man there named Zacchaeus, who was a chief tax collector and also a wealthy man, was seeking to see who Jesus was. But he could not see him because of the crowd, for he was short in stature. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree in order to see Jesus who was about to pass that way. When he reached the place, Jesus looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down quickly for today. I must stay at your house. And he came down quickly and received him with joy. When they saw this, they began to grumble. He has gone to stay at the house of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, Behold, half of my possessions, Lord, I shall give to the poor. And if I have extorted anything from anyone, I shall repay it four times over. And Jesus said to him, Today, salvation has come to this house because this man too is a descendant of Abraham for the Son of Man has come to seek and to save what was lost. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hello everyone. Welcome to this Holy Mass. I also acknowledge the presence of those in the online. Ati pong paglalaanan ng pansin, yung sinabi ni Jesus, Behold, Salvation has come to this house. Yung kaligtasan ay nandito sa bahay na ito. I hope that's also my hope for all of you. Sana yung pamilya nyo ngayon, yung bahay ninyo, nakakaranas ng kaligtasan. And allow me to discuss to you three ways how we will continue experience salvation inside our home. Kasi kung may kaligtasan ng loob ng bahay, it will affect everyone. A uh, saved family is a saved person. Una muna, to continue experience salvation, always keep God as the center of your family life. Bakit po pala? Kasi as long as God is there, there will be order, there will be organization, there will be coordination, there will be meaning, there will be joy. Ang daming ngayon nakaranasan ng meaninglessness and where else we can find meaning to go back to the family, to put, to put it back in order. Baka kasi nakakaranas tayo ng joylessness and meaninglessness because our family is not in its best shape. Put God in the center, friends. God is the light, the peace, and strength of the family. Pangalawa, how we can continue experience salvation sa loob ng pamilya Sana manaig yung respeto, understanding, and humility. Pag sinabing respeto ay pagkilala sa dangal ng bawat isa, pagtanggap sa kanyang pananaw, pagtanggap sa pagkaiba ng isa't isa. Pag sinabing na understanding, yung pag-unawa, alam nyo, pag malawak yung pag-unawa, it will give you a lot of freedom. Kasi most of the time, you'll, you'll get angry with your wife, with your children because you are forcing your point of view or you were hurt in the past. Understanding I sometimes you have to understand their background. Kasi alam nyo, hindi tala natin kaya talaga pilitin na baguhin yung para ng bawat isa. What we can do is to change the way you look at the family. So understand your mother, 
please be understanding with your husband, with your children, with one another. Kasi maraming pagkaka, pagkakasamaan ng loob sa pamilya because we are different. But hindi ibig sabihin different tayo sa isa, we will be separate from one another. Please find a way to reconcile and bridge relationship. Alam nyo, salvation will continue if there is forgiveness. Naalala ko one time, may minisahan ako, their mother died 90 years old. Siyempre, ito pala mga kapatid, nag-away-away for many long years. Since their mother died, they have to show up from different parts of the world. Tapos, natapos na lang yung burol, nailibig na nangin na nila, still they are angry to one another, nagsibalikan na sa iba't ibang bansa. Naisip ko, kailan pala kaya sila mag-uusap? Meron pa kayang time? O baka, at the end, until the end, wala silang chance to reconcile. Let us copy Zacchaeus. What is humility? Di ba Zacchaeus was in the sycamore tree? He went down and received Jesus with joy. Ganon din siguro sa pamilya natin. Please come down to your sycamore tree. Please come down. Papasukin natin uli ang isa't isa sa buhay natin. Kasi pag nagalit kasi isang tao, inilis mo na siya sa buhay mo eh. Baka yung tatay mo, nanay mo, anak mo, kapatid mo, di mo na pinapansin because when you say, because they are not anymore worth my attention and time. Pag sinabing love, bisabihin, you are telling your father, your mother, you are now again worth my attention. You are now again worth my time. You are now again worth my presence. Kaya, tell your mother, father, ma, you are worth my time. You are worth my presence and my attention. And that's what you call love. Hanggang merong ganyan, may kaligtasan. And last po pala, how will our family life continue to experience salvation? Alam niyo, the ultimate test of a family life, kung isang member ng pamilya nagkasakit, in short, physical sickness. I hope, pag may nagsakit sa loob ng pamilya, you stand by her side, you stand by his side, iparamdam niyo pa rin na, na, kasi ang opposite ng salvation ay damnation. Misan kasi, pag may sakit na nga yung tao, pinaparamdam pa natin na we make them feel like they are damned already. Kasi minsan when, when a person gets sick in the family, minsan pinaparamdam natin na we take them for granted or pinaparamdam natin na pabigat na sa pamilya. Iwasan po natin. This is what makes us Christian. We don't leave someone behind. Instead, the more you put the person who is in need, his needs before us. Sa American military, alam niyo po sa American military, binibigyan ng mataas na award yung mga sundalo na nagkaroong encounter. Then yung co-soldier niya na baril. Then yung ginawa mo lahat ang paraan, may balik siya sa kampo. Bakit po pala? Bakit sila binibigyan ng award? Una, kasi you cannot leave your co-soldier co -soldier in pain. Matitiis mo ba na yung kasama mo crying in pain? Di ba hindi? So iwi mo siya doon sa kampo. Pangalawa, iwi mo yon to give him a chance to live. Bigyan mo ang tao ng fighting chance. Bigyan mo siya ng fighting chance. And third, sa American military kasi, the real might, yung totoong tapang, is not in the fight in the battlefield. But the test of bravery is the strength to love in the heart. Yung pa rin ang value ng American military. Asa nagandin ang value ng family ninyo. Uh, keep this. Uh, bakit po pala kailangan pakita natin na sa American military, they value love in the heart. Kasi, kasi to preserve high moral, ang hirap naman na sundalo mo, wala kang tiwala kasi pag na, nabaril ka sa, sa ano, iwanan ka. Huwag na tayo sundalo kasi mag-iwan lang pala. Ganoon din sa family. You'll feel secured if you can trust your your father, your mother, that in time you get sick, he will stay behind. At trust is the one that will really operate the family. Friends, keep the trust. And this is what we call commitment. This is what you call true love. And this is what you call salvation. I hope your family will come to experience salvation. Just as Jesus said, salvation has come to this house. God bless everyone.
magsitayo po tayo and we offer the intercessory prayer. In the meeting between our Lord and Zacchaeus, we see that through mercy is the most profound source of justice. We pray as sinners on behalf of sinners, but let our prayer express confident trust in the divine mercy. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may continue to welcome those who seek forgiveness and inner peace. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who run business and industry may be generous and just. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may be prepared to welcome the Lord whenever He comes into our lives and allow Him to make His home in us. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer that the sick may see in their trials and suffering the redeeming cross of Christ. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may be rewarded with everlasting happiness in the life of the world to come. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we pray for personal intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for our family members. We pray for our parents, our children, our siblings. We pray for our dead members of our family. May the Lord continue to bring deliverance to our family life, bring prosperity, bring health, bring unity, forgiveness, and mercy to one another as we glorify God in His holy, in His eternal presence. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Come to me and drink. Come to me and drink. Oh, let all who are thirsty come to me and drink. Spirit within you, and you shall live and know that I am the Lord. Come to me and drink, come to me and drink, oh, let all who are thirsty come to me. Spirit on all flesh, your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Come to me and drink, come to me. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look with favor, O Lord, we pray, on the offerings we set upon the sacred altar on the feast day of St. Albert the Great, that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations may give honor to your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, 
Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for as on the festival of St. Albert, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy Hope You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, you pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me, The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial, of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one with the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto Ong Choco, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unit of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor shores forever and ever. Amen. Friends, with longing for the coming of God's kingdom, we dare to say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Ang kapayapaan ng ating Panginoong Diyos ay laging sa inyo. At sa inyo rin. Bilang pamilya sa bayan ng Diyos, magbigay po tayo ng kapayapaan sa isa't isa. Peace be with you. Those in the online, across Facebook and YouTube channels, peace to all of you. Friends, this is our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. to me. 
departed from thy side. Guard me should the foe assail me. Call me when my life shall fail me. Bid me come to thee above with a saint to sing alone. Let us pray. After this prayer of commu after communion, there will be some announcement. And after the Mass, there will be a devotion to Padre Pio. Accept this sacrifice from your people, we pray, O Lord, and make what is offered for your glory in honor of blessed Albert a means to our eternal salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Horatio Imperata Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you and to find forgiveness in life. We come to you in our need to seek our, your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed daily lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with the confidence and compassion. Grant them health in body and mind, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Reply to your protection, our Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin Mary, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel. Pray for us. Saint San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calunso. Pray for us. Saint Arnold Johnson and Joseph Renata Bits. Pray for us. Please be seated for some announcement. The Seminarians of Christ the King are inviting all the youths to participate in the fifth vocation jam entitled Kasinko, a Visayan term which means my heart. As we celebrate the solemnity of Christ the King, the said event will be on November 19, 2022 at 3 o'clock in the afternoon at Christ the King Mission Seminary Gym. Feel free to approach our seminarians outside the shrine if you have any questions. 
Don't miss this memorable opportunity to encounter God's love through songs of praise and worship. Also, we are inviting you to join us in our celebration mass on November 20, 2022 Sunday, Feast of Christ the King at 4 o'clock in the afternoon and be followed by a procession. See you and may God bless you. Sambayanan tayo ng bumalik sa simbahan, simbalik. Hashtag simbalik. Simbayan ang nagbabalik. Inaanyayahan po ang lahat na dumalo sa homecoming mass sa linggo, ikadalawang punang Nobyembre, kapistahan ng Kristong Hari sa ganap na ikasampu ng umaga, pangungunahan ang misa ni Reverend, Reverendo Padre Jerry Orbos SBD. Salamat po. Magsitayo po tayo. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may our Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks be to Thanks God. Thanks be to God. Please kneel for St. Pia's prayer. Stay with me, Lord, for it is necessary to have you present so that I do not forget you. You know how easily I abandon you. Stay with me, Lord, because I am weak and I need your strength that I may not fall so often. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my life and without you, I am without fervor. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my light, and without you, I am in darkness. Stay with me, Lord, to show me your will. Stay with me, Lord, so that I hear your voice and follow you. Stay with me, Lord, for I desire to love you very much, and I always be in your company. Stay with me, Lord, if you wish me to be faithful to you. Stay with me, Lord, as poor as my soul is. I want it to be a place of consolation for you, a nest of love. Stay with me, Jesus, for it is getting late and the day is coming to a close and life passes. Death, judgment, and eternity approach. It is necessary to renew my strength so that I will not stop along the way, and for that I need you. It is getting late and death approaches. I fear the darkness, the temptations, the dryness, the cross, the sorrows. Oh, how I need you, my Jesus, in this night of the exile. Stay with me tonight, Jesus. In life with all its dangers, I need you. 
let me recognize you as your disciples did at the breaking of the bread so that the Eucharistic communion be the light which disperses the darkness, the force which sustains me, the unique joy of my heart. Stay with me, Lord, because at the hour of my death, I want to remain united with you, if not by communion, at least by grace and love. Stay with me, Jesus. I do not ask for divine consolation because I do not merit it, but the gift of your presence. Oh yes, I ask this of you. Stay with me, Lord, for it is you alone I look for. Your love, your grace, your will, your heart, your spirit, because I love you and ask no other reward but to love you more and more. With a firm love, I will love you with all my heart, while on earth and continue to love you perfectly during all eternity. Amen. Act of Entrustment to St. Pio O glorious St. Pio of Petrelchina, the saint of this new millennium, you are our friend. Consoler of our soul, help of us sinners. You understand us so well, for you know what it means to suffer. To you we entrust our well-being and that of our loved ones. To you we entrust our spirit, that we may be able to endure the pains we carry in our heart. To you we entrust the request of presenting our souls to the Virgin of Grace to obtain eternal salvation from the Lord. To you we entrust our plea of intercession to obtain from the divine goodness the grace. which we so ardently desire. Welcome us under your protection. Defend us from the snares of evil. And above all, intercede for us before the Most High, so that through the forgiveness of sins, we may persevere in doing good. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In the Father, and Son, and Holy Spirit. Ang 